everyone, I'm Tara. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a sacral chakra slow flow practice. So your sacral chakra is one of the seven major energy centers within your body. It's located in your lower abdomen, your pelvis, and around your lower back. This energy center is very fluid in nature, so tapping into our sacral chakra allows us to just be more fluid, go with the flow. It allows us to tap into our creative energy, and it is strongly related to our emotional health as well. Doing hip opening yoga poses is a really great way to help bring energy into the sacral chakra. So we're gonna be doing some hip opening in our practice today, and it is gonna be slow flow. So we're gonna move slowly and with intention. If you like these types of yoga practices where we go beyond our physical body, connect with our energy, I really do think you would love my Patreon. There we go into a spiritual topic every month and you get meditations and yoga practices to go along with it. And they are nice hour long yoga flows. So I'll put a link to that in the description down below. But with all that said, we'll get right into our practice and we're gonna start right here sitting in easy pose. Okay, so sitting in easy pose, you could prop your hips up on a cushion if that feels good for you. So go ahead and get comfortable, sit up nice and tall, and you're gonna place your left hand on your lower abdomen, right hand over the left, close your eyes, and just connect within. Draw your attention in, take a moment for pause, and just starting to drop your attention down toward this energy center, toward the sacral chakra, allowing yourself to start to connect with your fluid nature, your creative side, and just moving in our practice today in a way that feels good and nourishing to you. Take one more moment here. And then release the hands, blink your eyes open and go ahead and meet me on all fours. So on your hands and knees. Okay, so on your hands and knees, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We're gonna move through some cat cows first and we'll move with the breath nice and slowly. So nice deep inhale, belly drops down, look up. And exhale, slowly rounding through the spine, pressing up through the upper back. And inhale, wave back to cow, drop the belly down, look up. And exhale, curl the spine into cat. Keep going like that. Option to close your eyes and just connect with this movement here, trying to make it nice and fluid. Moving with the breath, tapping into your intuition, what feels good for your body. And maybe just feeling the movement through the lower abdomen, how it closes down as you move through cat, and how it opens as you move through cow. Go ahead and take one more round here. Everyone meeting in cow, you could blink your eyes open if they were closed, and we're gonna move on and off from cow to a child's pose. So you're gonna wave the spine back, Sit the hips back, reach the fingertips forward into child's pose, and then try to make it fluid. So curl through the spine as you round up like you were coming through a cat pose and then the belly drops down into cow. It doesn't need to be perfect, just trying to find that fluidity within you. Okay, so go ahead and move on and off here. Maybe trying to exhale as you sit back. And inhale as you curve forward. And again, trying to make it just fluid through the spine, letting go, tapping into your creativity. You 
could even move through. So in child's pose, maybe it feels good to come up low, coming up through cow. There's no right or wrong here. Go ahead and take one more. Pausing in cow for a breath. And then step the hands forward about an inch, tuck the toes, lift the hips, press yourself back to downward dog. Nice deep bend in the knees and downward dog, pressing the hips to the sky, maybe pulling the lower abdomen in a little bit, feeling that activation there, connecting through the sacral chakra. And then we're going to just take hip, hip shifts here. So you're going to raise up onto the toes, bend the knees as you shift the heels to the left, and then bend the knees even deeper, pressing, feeling a stretch along the right side body. Then you switch, so you come up onto the toes, heels shift right, bend the knees, stretch through the left side body. So just moving on and off at your own pace. keeping the breath steady and moving slow and with intention. And everyone come back to stillness and downward dog, one breath here. And then bring the left foot to the center line, step the right foot to the outside edge of the right hand. So you're in your lizard pose. Breathe. And then drop the back knee down, untuck the back toe so you're in a lower version of lizard. Keep the left hand down, slight bend in the left elbow, right hand to right thigh, finding a little twist to the right and just deepening the hip opening. So really letting go here. Of course, you could stay with the first variation and you can move, find any movements you need, right? This is a fluid energy center. And the movement could be slow, right? It doesn't have to be these big movements. Maybe little shifts side to side feels good. Just getting into that hip opening on the right and in the front of the left hip, two more breaths. Right hand comes down, tuck under back toes, lift back knee, step back down dog. And then bring the right foot to the center line, left foot steps to the outside of the left hand. So you're in lizard, pause here. And then drop the back knee down, untuck the toes, sitting a little deeper into your hip space, finding that hip opening. Letting the energy flow around the hips as we move into this opening. Right hand stays grounded, slight bend in the right elbow. Left hand comes to the left thigh, finding that little twist in lizard. And again, just finding any movements you need. Maybe twisting on and off. Try to just drop your awareness into your hip space and let the hips guide you to where you need to go. Two more breaths. And then place left hand down, tuck back toes, lift back knee, step back to your downward dog. Breathe in downward dog. And then right foot steps forward between the hands this time. Drop the back knee down, untuck back toes, slow and with intention. Lift up into low lunge on Johnny Asana. Breathe here.
Breathing into the front of the left hip. And then hands place down, bordering right foot. Sit back. So you're going to try to sit all the way back, sitting back onto the left foot, right knee straight out, breathing into this hamstring stretch here. If this is just on, if this isn't possible, you could always just take half split up high as well. Nice, slow, intentional breathing. Letting go through the right hamstring. Connecting with your body here. Three more breaths. And then come back through low lunge. Hands place down, step back, down dog. Take a breath. And then left foot steps forward between the hands. Drop the back knee down, untuck the back toes. Slow and with intention, lift up into low lunge. Breathe, settling in. Allowing the breath to flow, tapping into the fluidity of the breath. Two more breaths here. Hands come down, bordering left foot. Shift all the way back, sitting back on the right heel. Left leg is straight out. Again, you could take half split, or if it's just hard to get the knee straight, maybe you're just sitting up tall here, working to start to straighten the left knee. Again, taking whatever option feels good for you. Breathe into the left hamstring. Three more breaths. And start to walk back through low lunge. Step it back to this time a plank. Drop the knees down right away. Lower to your belly and then prop up into Sphinx pose. Elbows under shoulders, palms facing down. Let your heels fall out to the sides. Let your low back relax and breathe here. Remembering that our lower back is also part of the sacral chakra. So trying to let go here, letting go of any tension, just allowing the energy to flow around to the lower back. Three more breaths. And then lower down one hand on top of the other you're gonna rest your forehead on the hands so your neck stays in neutral okay I'm gonna be turning my head so you can hear me better you could watch me but then do one hand on top of the other and then rest the forehead down okay just to keep your neck in a good position we're gonna do half frog so you're gonna bring the left leg up and out so the left knee is bent so the left inner knee, the inner part of the lower leg is on the ground, okay? And you're gonna breathe here and thinking about letting the left hip melt down toward the ground. Breathing into this half frog. This is one of my favorite poses to connect with the sacral chakra. 
because it's such a nice hip opener, but it's also relatively gentle. Letting everything melt down toward the earth, letting the breath be fluid, and just feeling into the left hip, connecting here. Noticing any feelings, sensations, emotions without judgment. Couple more breaths here. slowly bringing the left leg down and switching sides half frog on the right letting the right hip just melt down letting go through the lower back And just connecting with the sacral chakra as we open the hip. Feeling the energy surrounding the right hip. The lower abdomen that's melting down toward the ground. The lower back. The pelvis. Couple more breaths here. Again, feeling any sensations that come up without judgment. And slowly transition out, drawing the right leg back down. Place the hands under shoulders. Come up to all fours, sitting back to kneeling. Preparing for full frog. Full frog is a very intense hip opener. If you would rather stay with half frog, you can do that. And I'll just cue you when to switch sides. You can do each side again. If you want to do full frog, I like to fold my mat up on both sides for extra cushion under my knees, okay? So it's kind of like the position of half frog, but now both legs are going to be out, okay? So adjust your mat to get into your position, okay? So the legs are separated. You're on the inner portion of the knees, and your feet are like we did in our half frog. You could stay up on the hands and just work on sitting back here, okay? That might be enough for you. Maybe you wanna drop down to the elbows and then what you're thinking about is working on pressing your weight back toward your hips, okay? And breathe here. Again, this is pretty intense on the hips. So go to a depth that feels good. We are going to be holding here for a little bit and you'll find as you hold it probably does get a little easier you're able to sink a little deeper so just connect with the breath stay connected with the hip space and just breathing into this hip opening If you're doing half frog, go ahead and switch legs now. We got five more breaths here.
okay? If you're in half frog, bring your leg down to transition out of full frog. What you could do is just shift onto your belly, okay? And draw the legs back in and then press back into sitting. Nice and slowly, no rush here. And everyone is gonna lay on their backs with the feet bent, or the knees bent, not the feet. Bring the feet nice and wide on your mat, and we're just gonna close down the hips here by letting the knees fall in toward one another, and place the hands on the pelvis, and breathe here. Let go through the lower back. Really just letting the hips relax into this pose. Two more breaths. And then moving into Shavasana, straighten the legs out. Hands on the ground, palms facing up. Tuck your shoulders under you, relax back down, and let go here. Don't skip this part. This is just as important as our movement. I just made a whole video on why you should not skip Shavasana. So stay here for it. Take the time to allow your practice to integrate. Noticing any shifts in your physical body, in your mind, in your emotions, or in your energy. Being present of all sensations. Noticing them without judgment. And just letting go. Balancing our sacral chakra helps us in letting go. It helps us to be more fluid, to be able to go with the flow a little more. It allows us to tap into our creativity and it allows us to have healthy expression of our emotions. Take a few more moments here in Shavasana. All your attention is on just letting go. You could start to bring some movement back by wiggling your fingers and toes. Slowly draw the legs together, reach the arms overhead, find length through the body. And bending through your knees, and if it is possible for you to roll on your left side today, go ahead and do so. Left arm straight out, rest the head on the arm. Connecting here with the left side of our body where our feminine energy lives, which is very closely related to our sacral chakra. Taking another moment here and then use your hands to slowly walk yourself back up into a seated position. Place left hand on lower abdomen, right hand over left, and we'll close here with a breath together. 
So nice deep inhale all the way down into the belly. And exhale, let it go. Allow the breath to return to a comfortable pace. Releasing the hands. And when you're ready, blinking your eyes back open to the world around you. Namaste. Thank you guys for going through this sacral chakra slow flow. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do like this type of yoga where we go deeper than the physical body, then I will link my Patreon down below. I do really think you'll enjoy it. But otherwise, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. If you liked this practice, please give it a thumbs up. Those things really do help me. But that's all for me for today. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.